How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to watch the scariest video clips of 2024. Now this is part one, there will be a part two coming very very soon so keep an eye out for that one. But in the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy. Watch all of this over here. Our first clip of the day comes from TikToker Soy Julio Lopez and it's leaving viewers thoroughly creeped out. It's some CCTV footage captured inside of a supermarket. Take a look at what the cameras have caught. This over here. A whole bunch of items go flying off the shelf all at once. A second security camera also catches the event from a different angle. One or two items might be chalked up to poor placement or gravity, but in this case several products tumble off the shelves in quick succession. This strange and sudden occurrence has left many viewers wondering if this old supermarket could be haunted. He said there's going to be a new wave of patriotism coming out and that's whenever I saw Trump. A startling video has been making waves across social media. The footage originally posted to the YouTube channel Steve Chocolanti and Discover Ministries seems to eerily predict the recent assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. The video has sparked intense debate with some claiming it could be proof of a genuine prophecy. On July 13, 2024, Trump narrowly escaped death while addressing a crowd at a campaign rally near Butler, Pennsylvania. One of the bullets grazed Trump's upper right ear, leaving him wounded but alive. The incident shocked the nation, but what has people talking now is a video made four months before the attack that seems to predict the event in astonishing detail. Take a listen to the interview. And I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. And I saw um, he was, he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking, people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming. The video in question was uploaded on March 15th, 2024 four months before the assassination attempt. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. The interviews between Pastor Steve Chocolanti, a Christian author and leader of Discover Ministries, and Brandon Biggs, a self-proclaimed prophet. The accuracy of the details from the bullet grazing Trump's ear to the intense spiritual impact it would have on him has left many wondering if Biggs's vision was more than just a coincidence. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking, people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming. Biggs regularly shares what he claims are visions of the future on his YouTube channel titled Last Days, where he discusses everything from global events to the so-called end of days. His interview with Chocolanti, who is known for his own commentary on the impending second coming of Christ, has now garnered nearly 2 million views, with viewers divided over whether this was a genuine prophecy or just an eerie coincidence. And then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. So was this a true prophecy or simply a strange twist of fate? The video has left viewers questioning the boundaries of reality, faith and the mysterious ways in which the future might reveal itself. Whether or not you believe in Biggs' prophetic abilities, there's no denying that this video has captured the imagination of many leaving us all to wonder, could this really be a glimpse into the divine? Fire all throughout America, all throughout, and I saw Trump rising up, and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, This bullet flew by his ear, and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. 
It's early March 2024 and Instagram user Darren T. Harris finds himself in a truly unsettling situation right at his own front gate in Florida. Early on a Saturday morning, as he tries to enjoy a peaceful sleep in, he's abruptly disturbed by a commotion outside. Because this right here is going on. The woman appears to be in a highly agitated state, scratching at the gates and displaying signs of being under the influence of illicit substances. But I'm not sure what happened to this lady. Um, something, something got to happen. My dog is over here bugging out. Her moans and teeth gnashing only add to the eerie scene. Is this shit right here? That's some wild business. Anyway, see the wrong motherfucker. Darren's wife wastes no time in dialing 911 to seek assistance. I mean, what am I supposed to do with this? My wife to call 911. 911. However, the ordeal continues for some time. This can't be happening in front of my house, man. I'm, I'm sorry. This right here can't be going down. Okay, now she's trying to come back to life or something. This lady right here has been bugging. After Darren shared the footage on Instagram, it garnered significant attention, with many expressing concern and shock at the woman's behaviour. Some speculated wildly, suggesting the possibility of demonic possession or even the onset of a zombie apocalypse. However, it became evident to most that the woman's behaviour was likely the result of mental illness exacerbated by drug use. Nobody? So let me know what you would have done in a similar situation. This can't be happening in front of my house, man. I'm, I'm sorry, this right here can't be going down. Okay, now she's trying to come back to life or something. This lady right here has been bugging. I was scared, but I was not scared. Why? Because... A chilling story has emerged on TikTok where user Quiria Lachey, a nighttime office cleaner, shared a terrifying encounter while working all alone. The video, which has since gone viral, captures the unnerving moment when the OP realises she mightn't be alone after all. In the original clip, the OP reveals that her boss called her to inform her that she's the last person in the building and could begin vacuuming. With no other cars in the parking lot and the building locked tight, requiring keycard access, she felt secure. Until something strange began to happen. Watch. While working, she notices a mysterious figure sitting in a booth. What the fuck is that? Like, they just sit in here. The person isn't using a phone or moving, and oddly enough, they don't show up on any of the building's security cameras. The OP reports the incident to a colleague who checked the cameras and confirmed there was no sign of anyone else in the building. Terrified and unsure of what to do, she hides in a supply cupboard, waiting for her colleague's return, planning her escape. I'm about to look at the cameras, and I was like, there's no cameras in that hallway. What the f Plucking up courage, she checks the hallway and sees there's no one sitting in the booth anymore. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 In a follow-up clip, Quiria Lachey offers more details about her unsettling experience. I was scared, but I was not scared. Why? Because when, if it was a ghost, I'm used to them. I've been seeing them all my life. I've been talking to them all my life since I was a little girl, so I'm, like, I'm pretty much used to that. She admits that, while the sight of the figure didn't initially frighten her, given her previous encounters with the paranormal, she was confused and unsure whether it was a real person or something supernatural. She recalls hearing a shuffling noise outside the door, but when she mustered the courage to open it, she found another door nearby had swung open. I, heard, I thought I was hearing like shuffling. So as I'm slowly guarding my stuff, I'm hearing this stuff, I'm like, bro, what the hell? When I open that door and I see that other door was open, excuse me? Oh no, oh no ma'am, <laughs> oh no sir. <laughs> In her final update, Quiria Lachey gives her followers a tour of the room where she spotted the unknown figure. That's the room. So someone or something had pushed that chair up to this door. And as you can see, this is sheer. And they had a white shirt on, 
or a white suit, I don't know. And they were just sitting in the dark, like staring straight forward. <laughs> she describes the figure as possibly a woman dressed in a white shirt or suit sitting silently in the dark. Disturbingly, the chair where the figure sat was pushed up against the door. And despite all the security measures in place, including keycard access and cameras, no one was seen entering or leaving the area. The incident has sparked widespread intrigue and debate, with viewers wondering if Quiria Lachey encountered a ghost or an intruder. With the mysterious figure unseen on security footage and the unexplained noises, the situation has left more questions than answers. Is the building haunted, or is it something else entirely? This chilling video was captured by an anonymous videographer in Japan, documenting what seemed to be a carefree day among friends by the water. However, the camera soon catches something truly unnerving. Watch. What looks like a fourth woman's face appears out of the water. Some commenters said that a young girl drowned in this very river many years ago. Locals now say it's haunted by her tormented spirit. Other keen-eyed viewers, however, disagree, saying it could just be the knee of the woman on the far right bobbing up out of the water. As always though, I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, for final judgement. What do you think's being caught on camera here? Ghost sightings continue to captivate the public's imagination, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the supernatural. This intrigue was reignited on March 2nd, 2024 in the Philippines, when a man's routine nighttime ride took a terrifying twist. Carl Dagus, riding along a national highway in Cagayan de Oro with a friend, encountered something that left them both shaken. The bizarre incident was captured by Dagus' helmet camera and later shared on Facebook, quickly gaining widespread attention. Take a look at what's being caught on camera. The footage reveals a ghostly figure darting into the path of Dagus' motorcycle before seemingly vanishing on impact. Despite stopping to search the area, Dagus and his friend found no sign of the mysterious figure. Dagus recounted the chilling moment, noting a sudden, inexplicable cold gust as he collided with the person. Reviewing the footage, he noticed the figure had no identifiable face solidifying his belief that he had experienced something otherworldly. The video has since gone viral, sparking intense debate across social media in the Philippines. While many share Dagus' ghost theory, others remain skeptical, suggesting the figure might have been a real person. However, no one has stepped forward to identify themselves as the figure, and local authorities have yet to report any incidents involving a pedestrian being struck at the scene. This eerie encounter continues to fuel speculation and fascination, leaving many to wonder whether Dagus' ghostly sighting could be a genuine glimpse into the paranormal. Doesn't do that. Hello? Belgian urbex YouTuber Siaz, known for exploring abandoned places across Europe, recently experienced a nightmarish adventure that's left both him and his viewers deeply unsettled. Typically, Siaz's videos feature the exploration of eerie forgotten structures. But this particular episode took an unexpected, terrifying turn. The video begins with Siaz and his friends venturing deep into a dense forest, filming their nighttime exploration. Oh, 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 there it is. That's there, right? 
As they journey further into the woods, the group begins to hear something unnerving. Despite their growing apprehension, they press on, determined to uncover the source of the disturbing noises. Hello? Hello? However, their curiosity soon turns Hello. to terror. Watch what happens. Hello? What the f What the f Hey! Watching that again, a woman dressed in a nightgown holding an axe emerges from the darkness. Shocked and disoriented, the group flees in panic, unsure of what to do next. Hey. They quickly call the police, fearing for their safety. Yeah, I can. Good auto with two letters. Good auto. 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 The encounter with the authorities, however, does little to ease the group's nerves. As the officers question the woman, he has captures a moment of pure fear on camera. His hands trembling as he drinks from a bottle of water. Fortunately, no one was harmed during this harrowing incident, but the unsettling encounter left a lasting impact on Siaz and his friends. In the aftermath, as the boys regroup in their car, Siaz recounts the chilling image of the woman kneeling on the ground, surrounded by police, staring at him with a maniacal smile, as if straight out of a horror movie. The vlog continues, with Siaz reflecting on the experience from the safety of his home. He revisits the footage, noting that the woman can be heard shouting threats, warning them to stay out of her woods or face deadly consequences. That's legit what she heeft geroepen, but I kept the helft op beeld. Dus gehoord vermoord ik jullie. Siaz also reveals that the woman had approached their car, removed their license plate, and hid it, seemingly with the intent of luring them back into the darkness where she could ambush them. Once again, it's super lucky that no one was harmed during this harrowing incident. Hello. What the f what the f hey. In a chilling revelation captured on a TikTok video by user Haley.more, the sanctity of a young girl's bedroom is shattered by an inexplicable occurrence. The footage, recorded on an indoor home security camera, unveils a seemingly innocent scene. The child, well past her bedtime, is engrossed in play. But the tranquility swiftly transforms into terror. As the clock strikes 11, the child's playful antics take a sinister turn. Watch what happens.
Watching that again, something seems to light up under the bed. Then the girl appears to be forcibly grabbed. Eventually, her mother comes running into the room. Naturally, this clip went viral with viewers demanding to know more. In an update video, the young girl's mother addresses some questions. People have been asking me, have you been in the room? Have you guys looked under the bed? No, we haven't. We haven't been in the room in the last two days. We've been a little scared. Eventually, she films under the bed. A doll appears to move all by itself. <laughs> Adding to the macabre mystery, the homeowner's unsettling testimony hints at a history steeped in the supernatural. Previous occupants have whispered tales of a haunting, attributing the house's eerie ambience to its proximity to an ancient cemetery. People that have lived here have had some ghostly encounters. Um, I learned that it was built near, not on, but near a cemetery. Speculation swirls. Was the girl ensnared by the spectral remnants of a restless soul? Or is there a less creepy way of explaining these unsettling events? Whatever the truth, the harrowing ordeal serves as a grim reminder of every parent's deepest fear the vulnerability of their child in the face of the unknown. <gasps> oh my God. Uh, it's just showed uh, either angels or demons. TikTok user Shane Williamson, known as Gingerbread Man 2024, recently went viral after capturing a bizarre moment on live TV. While watching Fox News' coverage of the war in the Middle East, Shane noticed something strange on the live feed from Tel Aviv, Israel. Take a look. News contributor and former national security advisor to President Trump and VP Pence. First, your reaction. Hi, your to President Trump and VP Pence. First, your reaction. During the broadcast, a dark, shadowy mass appears to fly through the sky. Security advisor. First, your reaction. The other one's right there, I think. Yeah. It pops in here and then just disappears because it pops in out of nowhere. Shane speculated that the mysterious black figure could be a supernatural being, possibly an angel, demon, or even the Grim Reaper. His video quickly gained traction, with many commentators agreeing that a spiritual war might be unfolding. Several pointed to the Angel of Death, Azrael, a figure from Islamic, Judaic, and Christian lore, as a potential explanation. In religious tradition, Azrael is often depicted as the angel of death, responsible for separating the soul from the body at the time of death. In Islam, he's known as the being who watches over the dying, bringing their souls to the afterlife. Azrael is believed to act without bias, coming for both the virtuous and the wicked when their time has come. In some depictions, Azrael has a terrifying appearance with four faces and thousands of wings, capturing the enormity of his role in the afterlife. Despite the supernatural theories, others offered more grounded explanations. Some suggested the black mass might be a simple glitch in the live broadcast, while others proposed it could be a water droplet running down the camera's lens, creating an eerie visual effect. So, whether a sign of spiritual warfare or just a technical error, the strange footage has sparked heated debate online. So what do you believe? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. President Trump and VP Pence, first your reaction.
On September 19, 2024, an unsettling yet heartwarming piece of footage captured by user Shazalina has sparked intrigue and debate. The video, recorded during a walk in Derry Island, shows a dog named Buster seemingly interacting with an unseen presence. You right, Buster? It's left viewers questioning whether animals can sense the spirits of those who have passed on. Right, let's go. According to Shazalina, the incident took place near her partner's family home, a place with deep emotional significance. The house had belonged to her partner's father, who had passed away almost a year earlier. With the anniversary of his death approaching, memories of his health's rapid decline had been heavy on their minds. The eerie event seemed to coincide with this emotional time. In the video, Buster suddenly leaps into the air as if trying to make contact with something that just isn't there. He appears confused, looking around as if expecting to find something physical. Right, let's go. This odd behaviour, coupled with the family's emotional connection to the location, led the user to believe that Buster might have sensed the spirit of her partner's late father. Many viewers have speculated that dogs, often thought to be more attuned to the supernatural, could pick up on a presence that humans can't perceive. The timing of the event and Buster's peculiar reaction made it all the more chilling leaving the family to wonder if it was a comforting sign that their loved one was still nearby. First off, I've been an EMT just for a little bit in. Like, I ain't never experienced nothing like this. In mid-August 2024, a Tennessee-based ambulance driver named Japri had an unsettling experience while working the night shift that's since gone viral. Japri, who was driving back to base, was terrified when he noticed what appeared to be a face in the rearview mirror. Alarmed, he immediately pulled over and began filming to document the bizarre occurrence. Like, I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So. So as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. Approaching the ambulance cautiously, Japri sets his phone down in the front seat for a moment. I don't know if you see it, but can, can y'all see that back door like that's when his camera captures something truly eerie. Watch. Can oh. No, what the f Can you see it? No, hell no. The footage shows a dark figure zipping back and forth in the back of the ambulance at an unnatural speed. Can you oh. No, what the f Oh, hell no. The clip has sparked a flurry of speculation and debate among viewers. Many believe that the dark figure is the ghost of a deceased patient who died in this very ambulance. I swear I see. Japri's encounter adds to a growing list of unexplained incidents experienced by night shift workers, particularly those in professions closely tied to life and death. As the video continues to circulate, it raises questions about the possibility of lingering spirits and the haunting of emergency vehicles. Is this a genuine paranormal event, or simply a trick of the light? Whatever the case, Japri's footage has certainly captured the imagination of many. Can you... oh. No, what the f... Can you see it? No, hell no. A wave of strange UFO sightings is lighting up TikTok, with several users posting footage of bizarre lights spotted over Kokomo, Indiana. 
On the night of October 7th, 2024, residents noticed strange lights hovering and blinking in the sky, leading to a series of eerie clips that have now gone viral. This first piece of footage comes from Christina Sharp, where viewers can see a string of lights blinking on and off, slowly moving through the night air. I know. Corroborating her experience, Danielle Reese, located across town, captured similar footage of the same blinking lights. Next, Chad Weaver provided another angle of the mysterious lights, contributing further to the growing intrigue surrounding the bizarre incident. Disappear, just move, disappear. Huh. Perhaps the most compelling footage comes from TikTok user Frozone10, who not only filmed the same unidentified lights. There it is, y'all. It just disappeared again. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, hell. There's another one. There's three of them. But he also breaks down his footage for viewers. In a startling moment, one of the lights appears to zip away at an astonishing speed. Right here. Pew, pew. Now watch it in slow motion. See that red dot? Just focus on it. It's right there. Disappears. Bam! Then here goes the second one right here. Pew. This has left many commenters wondering if this sighting can truly be dismissed as a mundane occurrence. While some skeptics suggest that the lights could simply be drones, the sudden and rapid movement seen in Frozone 10's footage has silenced many of these theories. So what exactly is happening in the skies over Kokomo? Could this really be a sign of extraterrestrial activity? Or is there a more earthly explanation? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Miami's New Year's Day incident sent shockwaves through the internet with widespread speculation of an otherworldly encounter. Amidst the chaos, conspiracy theorists claimed the presence of a 10-foot tall alien-like creature, creating a social media frenzy. In our previous report, we delved into the initial incident and the subsequent efforts to debunk extraterrestrial involvement. But now, fresh and startling developments have come to light, further deepening the mystery. Since our initial report, the Miami Mall incident has taken an even more intriguing turn. Reports of UFO sightings hovering over the Miami skies have surfaced, adding a new layer of complexity to the story. On January 6th, an unidentified light was captured moving erratically in the city's skies. Look at it. Not the little ones because my, my little mirror thing scratched up. I know you see those right there. Floating. Oh my... Bruh. This every day out here, or every night, but still, look at that. But this really is Miami. The unidentified light glides through the air. Here, this ain't the airport. Look at that. And them clouds not even moving. How the whole cloud not gonna move? It's just sitting there at nighttime. In another incident, a bright ball of light was seen traversing the Miami skyline. Initially, doubts emerged due to the scarcity of credible witnesses. However, the situation evolved when interviews featuring witnesses who claimed to have been present during the Miami Mall encounter began to circulate. Let's take a closer look at one of these witness testimonies. About like a, a, a few seconds later, as soon as we started running, uh, my nephew, he's autistic, so he was pointing behind us and he was saying, Blanky, 
which he'll usually say whenever he feels unsafe or scared. And he was pointing behind us. So me and my brother, we look behind us and then we see these three, nine, 10 foot tall creatures. Many viewers have found this man's testimony to be exceptionally genuine. All of us stopped in our track. We, you know, a whole bunch of people were pointing at it. Uh, I mean, there were other people running. As soon as it made itself more apparent, um, it looked like it was glitching. Not like a computer pixelation, but like a wavy glitch. And whatever maybe was covering them had, you know, unveiled or whatever. Um, yeah, it looked like a glitch, man. His detailed account and demeanor have convinced some that his experience was authentic. Here's another alleged witness sharing his encounter as well. It is really aliens. It's really aliens. And I cannot believe that the Miami Police Department is really going to try to make it seem like they had all those car police cars and stuff out there over some kids fighting, y'all. Aliens are real. It was three of them, and we couldn't believe it. As we dig deeper into this strange story, questions continue to mount. Are these additional witness accounts to be believed? What about the UFO sightings that have garnered attention around Miami? As we venture further into the unknown, the search for answers intensifies. The tale of the Miami Mall aliens has taken yet another captivating twist, and we eagerly await further developments and revelations. Stay tuned to our channel for updates as this captivating mystery unfolds. Look at them. Not the little ones because my, my little mirror thing scratched up. I know you see those right there. Close. Oh my. Bruh, this every day out here, or every night. But still, look at that. Facebook user Nick Rocks recently shared a strange and unsettling experience that he believes might be evidence of an alien abduction. On September 11, 2024, at exactly 1am, Nick was fast asleep in his home when a sudden loud explosion echoed through the night. The bizarre sound was caught on all four of his security cameras positioned around his apartment. But things took an even stranger turn when he woke up the next morning and reviewed the footage. According to Neek, he remembers waking up immediately after the explosion. He recalls standing up, looking out of his window and seeing smoke and flames in the sky. He even heard his neighbours outside also trying to figure out the source of the loud bang. However, the security footage tells a very different story. In the video, Nick appears to remain asleep in his bed throughout the entire event. There is no footage of him getting up or moving to the window as he vividly remembers. At one point in the video, at around 53 seconds, there's a noticeable frame skip where Nick's body changes position abruptly as if time's been altered. The cameras, which normally record continuously, mysteriously skipped a full minute of footage. This unsettling discrepancy has led Neek to believe that he may have been abducted by aliens. Time loss or feeling that a period of time has passed without memory or explanation is a common feature in many alleged alien abduction stories. In numerous accounts, individuals report experiencing gaps in their memory, only to later recall bizarre encounters, often involving bright lights, strange beings and unexplained phenomena. These stories frequently describe missing time as if the person was taken, examined or transported elsewhere, only to be returned without any clear memory of the event. Neek's experience fits this pattern exactly. He recalls waking up, seeing his neighbours and witnessing the aftermath of the explosion. But the security footage contradicts this memory, showing him asleep the entire time. The skipped footage adds another layer of mystery, suggesting that something did happen during that missing minute, 
something that the cameras weren't able to capture. As for the source of that bizarre explosion, Nick and his neighbors are still left with more questions than answers. Could it have just been an ordinary event, such as a distant firework or electrical fault? Or could it have been something more mysterious? As of now, this bizarre incident remains unexplained. TikToker Lowboy Ken is a heavy haul driver who normally posts videos about his life on the road and time spent with family. However, there's one video that stands out from the rest. Take a look. Watching that again, a figure seems to suddenly appear on the road. If you slow the clip down, it looks even stranger as it appears as though the figure comes out of the vehicle that's traveling in the front. Naturally, the mysterious figure has sparked talk of the supernatural with one viewer likening its appearance to a residual haunting. Residual hauntings, often described as echoes of the past, can be particularly poignant at sites of car crashes or deaths on the road. These hauntings are said to be repetitions of events where traumatic energy seems to be imprinted on the environment. Witnesses might hear the screech of tyres, the impact sounds, or even see ghostly apparitions reenacting their last moments. Unlike traditional hauntings, where a spirit might exhibit awareness of its surroundings, residual hauntings are thought to be more like a movie playing on a loop, with no awareness from the figures involved. These spectral phenomena suggest that high emotional energy or sudden departures might leave a kind of psychic residue that repeats the traumatic event, haunting the location indefinitely. In a chilling TikTok video that's been making waves online, user Renee Yarovi, a nurse working the night shift at her local hospital, shared an unsettling experience. During a quiet night, she and a colleague began hearing some strange noises. Curious and slightly unnerved, she decided to film the area to see if she could capture anything unusual. Take a look at what was caught. Watching that again, in the far corner, a dark silhouette of a person can be seen standing motionless. What makes the footage even more unsettling is that neither of the nurses seemed to notice the figure at the time. Given the hospital setting, many viewers were quick to speculate that the shadowy figure could be the spirit of a former patient who passed away in this very hospital. The idea that the video might have captured a ghost has left viewers both spooked and fascinated, with the clip quickly going viral. So could this be evidence of lingering spirits in the hospital, or is there another explanation for the mysterious figure in the corner? Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. In September 2024, Reddit user LTTIRB shared a chilling post that has since spooked viewers. The user explained that their uncle had tragically lost his life in 2017 under violent circumstances. He had been a recovering drug addict, but had unfortunately relapsed in the years leading up to his death. The situation escalated when one of his roommates became involved with dangerous individuals. In a botched robbery attempt, a client of the roommate broke into the house attempting to steal an iPad. During the confrontation, the intruder shot the uncle, resulting in his untimely death in November of that year. A few months after the murder in February, the OP's aunt captured a photo that still haunts the family to this day. The image was meant to be an innocent shot of the freshly fallen snow outside of her home. When she sent the picture to family members, something strange caught their attention. 
In the window's reflection, a man can be seen sitting on the couch inside of the house. The aunt, however, insists she was all alone when the photo was taken. If you compare the image with photos of the uncle when he was alive, there is a striking and eerie resemblance. What made the situation even eerier was that years later, when revisiting the image, the user discovered that it was a live photo which captures brief video snippets. Playing the live version, the family was shocked to see the reflection move, as if the man on the couch turns his head towards the camera. Many Reddit users suggest this might be genuine evidence of a ghost sighting as the reflection not only resembles the deceased uncle, but also appears to move in a way that can't easily be explained. Skeptics, of course, weighed in offering alternative explanations such as visual pareidolia or a possible trick of the light. However, the fact that the figure seems to move in the live photo has left even skeptics scratching their heads. So, could this be a case of a grieving family mistaking an eerie coincidence for a supernatural event? Or is it possible that the uncle's spirit is still present watching over his family? For now, the mystery remains unsolved, but it certainly stirred up intense debate and curiosity, with many viewers calling it one of the most compelling pieces of ghost evidence they've ever seen. <laughs> um. <laughs> that is ratchet. <laughs> That's like really Popular TikToker Dustin Fraser has been sending chills down the spines of viewers with his recent series of eerie encounters captured on camera. Filmed in the misty Appalachian Mountains of Tennessee, Dustin's videos showcase unsettling events unfolding in his friend's old apartment, nestled in the heart of the ancient hills. The apartment itself holds a mysterious allure, boasting relics of a bygone era. Among its peculiarities is a weathered safe dating back to the 1800s left abandoned in a corner. There's also a secret closet door ominously nailed shut from the other side. <laughs> However, it's not just the apartment's vintage charm that has TikTok users intrigued. Throughout Dustin's guided tour of the eerie house, discerning viewers notice peculiar whispers faintly audible in the background. In one spine-tingling moment, as Dustin and his friends tinker with the ancient safe, something strange can be heard. Take a listen. Apparently it's from like the 1800s. Apparently it's from like the 1800s. It can be hard to hear at first, but if we amplify the sound, it almost sounds like someone whispering, it's my house. Apparently it's from like the 1800s. Apparently it's from, apparently it's from like the 1800s. Hmm. Later, as the exploration continues, another eerie voice reminiscent of a young girl's warns, get out of here. No, it goes well, in. shit. It goes well, in. shit. It goes oh, in. Shit. Just don't Undeterred, Dustin and his friends press on, venturing into the secret recesses concealed behind the closet door. Yet, as they work to unseal the space, the whispers persist. This time, it sounds like someone saying, let us out, over and over again. Eventually, they gain enough access to slip a phone inside of the strange room. They take several photos, and this is what they capture. The fourth photo seems to show something unsettling indeed. Despite the mounting tension, Dustin's videos only gain momentum, captivating millions worldwide. In a recent upload, Dustin captures another hair-raising encounter, this time at his workplace. Another 
fucking alarm's going off. It's late and Dustin is closing up the restaurant where he works. While he does, he's talking to a friend on Snapchat. I feel like, ugh, like all day today, I felt bad. While he walks through a darkened room, something eerie happens in the background. Take a look. And I don't really know why, like I have tried to like take medicine for it and stuff, but. Did you spot it? As Dustin walks down the corridor, you can see someone standing just behind him. Like I have tried. <laughs> Moments later, another eerie EVP seems to have been caught on film. Take a listen. I also hate that they always keep this room so f***ing dark. Like, come on now. But playing it back this time it sounds like someone saying i follow you all day i also hate that they always keep this room so f***ing dark like come on i also hate that they always keep this room so f***ing dark i also hate that they always keep this room so f***ing dark like yeah as speculation swirls around these inexplicable occurrences skeptics have emerged pointing to dustin's link tree which leads to his horror novel the man in my closet published in 2022 some viewers question whether the series of videos is merely a ploy to drum up interest in this book. Regardless of skeptics' doubts, Dustin's saga has ensnared the imaginations of millions. As viewers grapple with the tantalising question, is Dustin truly haunted, or is it all an elaborate ruse, the mystery only deepens, leaving us to ponder the unknown lurking in the shadowy corners of the Appalachian Mountains. Let's tape over one about another. Why we got here? It's gonna be absolutely nothing. In 2021, TikTok user Evie Gaskell One and her family moved to a new equestrian property ready to start a fresh chapter. Among the remnants left by the previous owners was a pile of junk set to be burned on bonfire night. While preparing the fire, her dad discovered an old mouldy saddle and casually shared a photo of it on WhatsApp, jokingly dismissing it as just another pile of rubbish. But what happened next shocked everyone. That night, as the bonfire roared, the family recorded the flames on video. When they reviewed the footage, they noticed something strange. Take a look. A ghostly figure that looks like a horse galloping through the flames can be seen. The property had been home to horses for over 40 years, including a famous stallion known for siring one of the royal family's carriage horses. Now the family can't help but wonder, was it the spirit of this legendary horse taking one final gallop through the grounds? The video has quickly gone viral, captivating paranormal enthusiasts and equestrian lovers alike. Whether it's a trick of the light or the ghostly presence of a cherished horse, the footage has sparked countless questions about the mysterious history of the property. A chilling video from Bangkok has gone viral, showing a young girl seemingly interacting with an unseen presence outside of her home. In the clip posted to Facebook by nun Tip Chung Wang, the little girl stands next to an open sliding door, pointing and talking to someone or something that isn't visible to the adults around her. As the adults ask the girl who she's talking to, the child describes seeing an old woman with red eyes standing outside. The conversation alone is enough to send chills down your spine, but things take a scarier turn at the end of the video. Watch. 
The girl suddenly extends her arm as though she's being pulled forward by an unseen force. The video quickly gained traction online with many commenters wondering if children truly have the ability to see things adults can't. The moment where the little girl appears to be tugged by an invisible force sparked heated debates among viewers. While some are convinced this is evidence of a supernatural encounter, others took a more skeptical approach. Some suggested that the girl might have simply tripped over the track of the sliding door, or that her actions were just part of normal childlike behaviour. Either way, the unsettling nature of the video, combined with the little girl's mention of an old woman with red eyes, has left many wondering if there's more to the story than meets the eye. A truck driver in Monterey, Mexico has become the subject of an eerie mystery following a routine night shift on March 31st, 2024. While the drive itself was described as uneventful, the dash cam footage reviewed by the truck company's security team revealed a chilling sight. There's a mysterious woman sitting in the cabin with the driver. <laughs> The footage, recorded around 3am, shows a woman with a pale, gaunt complexion and dressed in older-style clothing appearing next to the driver. This revelation left the security team and the driver himself in shock. The driver insisted that he had been alone throughout his entire night shift. When the driver was shown the footage, he was visibly shaken and terrified, unable to provide any explanation for the presence of the woman. The truck company's security team has also been left scratching their heads with no rational explanation for the mysterious figure. The haunting image of the woman has led to widespread speculation. Some suggest the possibility of a ghost, while others consider the potential for a sophisticated prank. However, the driver maintains he had no part in fabricating the footage, adding to the intrigue and fear surrounding this bizarre incident. moving to Japan or moving in Japan, you want to think about when you move. Anthony, the TikTok creator behind the popular page Anchan in Japan, typically shares content about life in Japan as an expat. His channel, known for covering topics like food, daily life, and especially the ins and outs of Japanese real estate, often features insightful tours of rental properties. Today we're looking at an apartment that's literally outside Canal City. However, one recent video has taken a much eerier turn, captivating viewers with a chilling and unexpected twist. While conducting a routine house tour in Fukuoka, Anthony's camera captures something eerie. Now, today we have a classic Japanese home, starting with a very nice tatami room. This house will run you a monthly rent of Juni Monen. This four bedroom home is in a wonderful location. Watching that again, as he pans past the living room, a shadowy figure appears in the frame, standing behind a room divider. However, when he looks behind the wall, there's clearly no one there. This four bedroom home is in a wonderful location. Three minute walk away from a supermarket. The clip has since gone viral, racking up over four million views and sparking countless theories in the comments section. Some viewers have taken the eerie encounter in stride, joking that they wouldn't mind splitting rent with the ghost. Others, however, are far more creeped out, trying to unravel what the shadowy figure could actually be, whether a trick of the light or something more supernatural. Despite the buzz surrounding the video, Anthony has yet to comment on the sighting, leaving viewers to speculate on their own. So what do you think this is? Love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments down below. This house will run you a monthly rent of Juni Monen. This four bedroom home is in a wonderful location. Three minute walk away from a supermarket. All right, totally not my usual post. I have a video I want you guys to watch. TikTok user Tatsun Jin has recently shared a perplexing piece of home security footage that's left viewers scratching their heads and debating the possibilities of what they've just witnessed. 
In the video, the user explains that she received a notification from her Ring doorbell home security system while she was away for the weekend. Anticipating the arrival of some packages, she quickly checked the security feed to see if it was the delivery she was expecting. Initially, the footage seems mundane, showing the homeowner's mailman leaving the packages on the doorstep during a rainy day. However, a chilling detail emerges halfway through the video. A second male figure suddenly appears in the frame. The mailman appears oblivious to the presence of this individual. Then, in a split second, the figure vanishes. The footage has since gone viral, sparking intense speculation and debate among viewers. Some are quick to dismiss it as a glitch in the security system or a mere technological anomaly. However, others are more inclined to believe in the supernatural, suggesting that the strange figure caught on camera could be a ghost or spirit. As the debate rages on, the true explanation behind the sudden appearance and disappearance of the figure remains a complete mystery. Is that you? TikTok user Seven Rodney Jr., a night shift stalker at a department store, recently shared a chilling experience that's left viewers wondering if his workplace is haunted. The eerie events unfold one night at around 10 p.m. while Rodney is working in the back storeroom. Out of nowhere, a box inexplicably falls off a shelf. Feeling uneasy, Rodney immediately checks the security feed for a replay. Take a look at what's caught on camera. Look. Boom, you see that? Sure enough, the footage shows the box tumbling to the ground for no apparent reason. Look. Boom, you see that? Look. Boom, you see that? Later that night, as Rodney's restocking the shelves at the front of the store, more unsettling events occur. Strange noises begin to echo through the empty aisles. Is that you? That threw down the box earlier? When he checks the security feed again, it confirms that he's all alone in the store. Is that you? Look, look, I'm here by myself. Nobody's here. It's just me. While searching for the source of the noises, something even creepier happens. Take a look. Rodney feels an eerie sensation as though someone or something has touched the back of his head. Oh! Oh, shit. He rushes to watch the security footage, take a look at what he sees. Look, you see that? You see that? His hair visibly moves, but there's no one around. The bizarre series of events has led many viewers to question whether the store might be haunted. Could this department store be home to something supernatural, or is there another explanation for this eerie activity? Look, you see that? You see that? In this video, Reddit user Icy Maintenance 7511 shares their experience of several unexplained events that have recently occurred on their property. Having moved to a remote town in northern Italy in search of tranquility, the poster was initially charmed by a quaint wooden house. The allure of peace and fresh air seemed perfect until inexplicable disturbances began to shatter the calm. A few weeks into their stay, the nights were interrupted by eerie sounds emanating from the attic. Thumps, creaks and unsettling noises that sounded like someone dragging something up there. Initially dismissed as the natural settling of an old house, the sounds grew increasingly intense, prompting the new homeowner to capture what was happening on video as a form of validation. 
The situation finally escalated in an incident that drove the poster to temporarily leave their home and stay with a friend. This is the footage they captured. A strange thumping sound seems to be coming from above. Not long after, an eerie tapping can be heard. These strange sounds prompt the poster to climb a ladder and cautiously peek inside of the attic. Take a look at what happens next. Watching that again, a chair moves as if pulled by some sort of unseen force. The video then cuts off abruptly after leaving their camera in the attic. The poster remains shaken, their dream of a peaceful rural life now haunted by unexplained occurrences in their attic. TikTok user Brenner has recently shared a spine-chilling ghost story that's left viewers on edge, and there's footage to back it up. In her eerie video, Brenner recounts the unsettling experiences of her sister and former roommate, who both worked at a music school and daycare centre for children. Basically, both my sister and my old roommate used to work at this like music school daycare centre for kids in the Upper East Side. While music classes echoed upstairs, downstairs in the basement lurked the daycare, a place Brenna describes as undeniably scary. And they both hated being down there. And I'd been down there a few times too. It is really scary. Like, you know when you just get a feeling about a place? Like, that is the basement. It was horrible. According to Brenna, her sister and roommate dreaded being downstairs, often hearing inexplicable voices in the absence of their co-teacher. Even more disturbing, the cleaner would occasionally stumble upon toys mysteriously arranged in a circle. Adding to the ominous atmosphere were reports from children of a mean guy lurking in the play tunnel and corner of the room. When COVID forced the daycare to close its doors, the owner installed security cameras to monitor the empty space, hoping to capture any unusual occurrences. What the cameras caught is beyond chilling. Take a look. The footage reveals objects moving around the room, seemingly of their own accord. So what do you think? Given that Brenner's unsettling tales of the property are now seemingly corroborated by this eerie footage, one has to wonder what's really going on in the basement of this old daycare centre. In April 2024, popular YouTuber Ian from Midwest Ghost Hunter took a chilling investigation of the old Baru Inn, a location many believe to be the most haunted bar in the United States. Built in 1864, this bar has a dark history that includes disturbing burial mounds, mob violence and gruesome deaths, making it a hub for alleged paranormal activity. The old Baru Inn was originally a tavern and brothel, but it took a more sinister turn when it became a mob-run speakeasy during Prohibition. The basement, in particular, was the site of executions and violent crimes. 
Over the years, numerous people have reported strange occurrences, from phantom piano music to disembodied voices. Several ghosts are believed to haunt the bar, including a former owner, phantom cowboys, and even Al Capone himself. Ian's investigation is filled with eerie moments and unexplained phenomena. The night begins as Ian bravely enters the bar. Using a variety of ghost hunting equipment, including a spirit box and stationary cameras, he captures several pieces of evidence that left him and his viewers stunned. Oh, oh, oh my God. Ian begins asking questions using his spirit reader, attempting to communicate with any entities that might be present. Within a few minutes, Ian believes he sees something moving out the corner of his eye. Could you tell me that? Whoa, what the f was that? I swear to God, I just saw something over there. Hello? Soon, the camera catches something strange. Take a look. Hello? Oh, holy shit. Oh my God, something just got thrown. What the hell was that? A utensil unexpectedly flies off a shelf, captured clearly on camera. Some minutes later, a stationary camera records some bizarre activity. The investigation continues as Ian hears a gruff whispering sound. Still hanging around here? Oh God, holy moly, I just heard a freaking whisper behind me. Later, he starts a session with a spirit box. It's a spirit box. At around the 19 and 21 second mark, the box responds with a chilling, good evening. That's when the conversation takes a chilling turn. How many gangsters are here? Zero. I don't know. That sounds like something a gangster might say. Stay out of where? Basement. It just said basement. The bar is known for objects moving on their own, and Ian experiences this firsthand. Might be the kitchen again. <gasps> Holy shit. Okay. Okay. A hand towel dispenser appears to have dispensed towels without any physical interaction, which Ian notices by comparing previous footage. That looks different. Wait. I don't remember that towel being out like that. Was it this thing I heard? Let's try it. Oh, yeah, that is the noise. Later in the night, things continue to ramp up. Watch. Thank you, Mary. Whoa, what? What? Dude, something just bumped this. Continuing the investigation, Ian bravely heads into the basement, even though the voice in the spirit box warned him not to. Hello? Before long, he sees this. Oh, holy shit. Oh my God. A black shadowy mass passes by a doorway. Somehow, Ian is able to continue his investigation of the property, heading upstairs into the old brothel. I heard that some ladies may still be lingering around here. Soon, what sounds like females whispering echoes through the room. Moments later, while in the bedroom, this happens. Is that you moving stuff around in here? What the hell was that? What is that? Watching that again, an old glove appears to fly off a dresser. Is that you moving stuff around in here? <gasps> what the f Moments after asking if a spirit could move something else, the camera catches this. 
Okay, 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 okay. I've had enough. I've had enough. In the final moments of the investigation, Ian's stationary camera catches one last eerie moment. So is the old Baru Inn really haunted? If you ask Ian personally, he'd almost certainly say yes. That is 100% proof that this place is crazy haunted. I'm gonna leave cameras up here, and then I'm freaking done for the night. In a disturbing video that's been making waves over on TikTok, user vtaylor72 captured a spine-chilling moment while inspecting an apartment for rent in March of 2024. What should have been a routine walkthrough turned into an encounter straight out of a horror movie. The video begins, innocently enough, with the OP exploring the apartment and filming the interior. Is that closet? That's washer dryer hookups. Yeah, cool. However, things take a terrifying turn. Watch. You, like, there's a person in there. There's a person in there? To their shock, a man is lying on the floor inside of the wardrobe. You, like, there's a person in there. Follow-up reports confirm that the man inside of the wardrobe was a squatter who had somehow gained access to the vacant unit and was using it as a place to sleep. The clip has since sparked discussions on social media about the importance of security checks for vacant apartments and precautions renters should take when inspecting properties alone. Fortunately, V Taylor 72 was unharmed by the strange incident, but the shocking find has left viewers spooked and reminded everyone that you never know who or what might be lurking behind closed doors. You, like, there's a person in there. There's a person in there? Mysterious green laser sightings are sparking intrigue and speculation worldwide, with reports emerging from various corners of the globe. Following a segment we ran last week on a green laser sighted during a storm in Florida on January 8th, 2024. Additional sightings are surfacing, leaving communities baffled and curious. Footage captured in Mexico on February 14th, 2024 reveals a steady green laser-like light on the horizon. While separate eyewitnesses document similar phenomena in Turkey. as well as Cape Coral, USA. In Cape Coral, residents observe low-flying planes emitting green lasers, raising questions about their origin and purpose. Casey Sutton, a Cape Coral resident, recounts her encounter with the unusual spectacle describing a plane manoeuvring with a green laser beam scanning over her multiple times. It was around midnight. Um, I was actually in my car. I was just getting home and I saw it going back and forth with a laser beam and it was, it scanned over me multiple times. It was scanning the whole area, every square footage basically. Similar sightings are reported by Philip Botolio and his wife Lisa, who observed the plane mapping areas with the green laser on consecutive nights. When it came by, you can see the green laser light like spread out. Like it was mapping, we heard someone was mapping the area is what we were told. Efforts to identify the source of these mysterious flights prove elusive. Despite inquiries into various agencies and organizations, including local authorities and the US Geological Survey, no conclusive answers emerge. The plane responsible for the laser displays in Cape Coral is registered to Randigo LLC in Delaware adding to the intrigue surrounding its activities. 
While theories abound regarding the nature of these sightings, ranging from mapping and data collection to more speculative explanations such as extraterrestrial activity or clandestine government operations, concrete answers remain elusive. In the absence of definitive explanations, concerned residents like Casey Sutton take matters into their own hands, purchasing tools like flight radar to track the elusive aircraft. However, even with access to flight data, the ownership and purpose of the planes remain shrouded in mystery. The lack of transparency from relevant agencies, including the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, only adds to the intrigue surrounding these puzzling phenomena. As speculation runs rampant and curiosity reaches a fever pitch, communities are left to ponder the true nature of these green lasers and the aircraft that emit them. In this video, shared by TikTok user trying to vibe 33 we see something that might prove that contact from the beyond might truly be possible. When the woman, seen on the right's father passed away, she bought a snow globe to remember him by. The item seemed to have stopped working. However, watch what happens as she celebrates the new year with her mother. One, two, three, straight up. Oh. All right, ready? One, two, three. Okay, straight up. The snow globe suddenly starts playing a tune. Could it be that the woman's father is attempting to make contact with his family? While the whole situation might simply be a remarkable coincidence, one does have to wonder about the timing. Whatever the reason, it seems that the most important thing is that the woman and her mother received a sense of comfort during this time of togetherness. That has not, I have, I've twisted it. That has not worked. That's my dad's snow globe. Like, we designated that to, like, be my dad. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Who are you talking to? TikTok user T.MamaTalk, also known as Tana, recently uploaded an eerie and emotional piece of footage that's left viewers questioning the afterlife. Tana and her brother Tim were very close, often making TikTok videos together alongside Tana's two-year-old daughter Evelyn. Sadly, Tim passed away, leaving Evelyn without her beloved uncle. One evening, while Tana was preparing dinner, something strange began to happen. Take a look. <coughs> Who are you talking to? Evelyn appears to be talking to someone who isn't there. <coughs> if you listen closely, it even sounds like she says the word uncle several times. <coughs> who are you talking to? Tanner has pointed out that at around the nine second mark into the clip, you can hear a whisper or sigh. Who are you talking to? Tanner believes her daughter might be communicating with her uncle Tim. So could this really be a sign that Evelyn is seeing her uncle in the afterlife? A mysterious encounter at a jewellery store has left employees and viewers alike unsettled. The strange incident shared on Instagram by user Paranoid Normal shows a jewellery store employee interacting with what she believed was a customer. However, the store's security footage tells a different story. Watch what happens. The employee can be seen greeting someone who appears to walk through the door. Ah! 
She begins showing products from the display, engaging in a conversation with what seems like a customer, but there's clearly no one there. Concerned, after watching the exchange from the back room, other employees come to the front to see who she's talking to. Watch what happens. The unsettling footage has viewers convinced that the employee may have unknowingly been serving a ghost. One commenter added a spine-tingling detail, suggesting that a pedestrian had been hit and killed by a passing car just outside of the store several years ago. Was this a case of a ghostly customer returning to browse or a trick of the mind? Either way, it's left everyone wondering who or what really walked into the store that day. In recent weeks, a peculiar home security video has taken the internet by storm. Uploaded by user Antonio the Leo, the footage captured by their doorbell camera has left viewers both baffled and intrigued. Take a look. As the footage unfolds, viewers are confronted with a series of strange lights hovering in the air. But that's not the only eerie element. Overlaying the visual spectacle is a snippet of a familiar tune, the Sesame Street theme song, specifically the line, can you tell me how to get, repeated endlessly. Unsurprisingly, this bizarre piece of CCTV footage has gone viral, drawing the attention of thousands of curious onlookers. Among those captivated by the video, a multitude of theories have emerged. According to the video's poster, the dancing lights could be a form of communication from a poltergeist, an unsettling prospect that sent shivers down the spines of many viewers. Others have entertained the notion that the source of the mysterious lights might be extraterrestrial beings or even time travellers attempting to convey a message through a strangely familiar song. Interestingly, some netizens have drawn parallels between the uncanny phenomenon and the Voyager Golden Record, a project initiated by NASA. Curated by a committee led by the renowned Carl Sagan at Cornell University, the Voyager Golden Record is a compilation designed to represent Earth to potential extraterrestrial life. It features a diverse array of sounds, music, greetings and messages from our planet. However, it's crucial to clarify that the Sesame Street theme song is not among the sounds etched onto the official Voyager Golden Record, as some commenters have mistakenly believed. As the internet continues to speculate and dissect every frame of this bizarre video, the truth behind this phenomenon remains elusive. Whether it's the work of a mischievous poltergeist, an extraterrestrial message, or simply an elaborate hoax, the enigma of the doorbell camera footage continues to fascinate and confound. As with many mysteries, the answer may continue to elude us, leaving room for the imagination to run wild. An unsettling photo has recently surfaced over on Reddit, shared by user Baltoel Trowell. The image, taken by a friend referred to as Jess to maintain her anonymity, has left many viewers spooked. According to the post, the photo was taken about four years ago when Jess was with two friends. They were attempting to capture a humorous, unflattering flash photo, but what they ended up capturing was something far more eerie. 
In the background of the photo, on the staircase, a dark figure can be seen. Jess, who noticed the figure immediately after taking the photo, was understandably shocked. She sent the image to Balto Ortral, who confirmed that the staircase wall where the figure appeared is entirely black, with no mirrors, paint or reflective surfaces that could explain the mysterious silhouette. What makes this story even more intriguing is Jess's strong belief in the paranormal. Following the unsettling experience, she contacted five psychics to investigate the house. According to the Post, all of the psychics agreed on one chilling detail. The figure in the photo was not just any ghostly apparition, but a man disguised as a woman who wanted to make his presence known by appearing in the photograph. For those who believe in the supernatural, this photo is yet another piece of evidence that the veil between the living and the dead may be thinner than we think. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, one thing's certain, this photo is bound to send chills down your spine. Our first clip of the day comes from Reddit user Camo3. On July 21st, 2024, just before 7pm, a home security camera in Colombia captured something truly strange. Take a look. <laughs> Watching that in slow motion, the footage shows an unidentified object flying towards the door of a home. That's when suddenly a man falls backwards out the door and onto the ground. Fortunately, the man wasn't badly injured by the incident, but reports say he did go to hospital for a checkup. The video has since gone viral with many viewers speculating about the nature of the strange object and its potential role in the man's sudden fall. Some believe the object caused the man to fall back violently. However, skeptics think the incident is just a coincidence, suggesting that the flying object might be a moth close to the camera's lens, while the man happened to fall over inside of the house simultaneously. Yet this theory doesn't fully explain what happened to the man inside of the home. So what's going on here? What is this strange object and what caused the man to fall outside of the house so suddenly? The mystery remains unsolved, leaving viewers to speculate and debate the true nature of this truly eerie incident. The Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas is no stranger to tales of the supernatural. Billed as America's most haunted hotel, it's long been a magnet for ghost hunters, thrill seekers and curious tourists. Among them was TikToker and mum of two amusing Angelina, who decided to spend a night in the infamous hotel to see if the ghostly rumours were true. During her stay, while sitting on the balcony of her room at 6am enjoying her morning coffee, Angelina begins to hear something strange. It sounds eerily like someone singing, yet yeah, there's no one else around. She initially brushed it off, but the unnerving feeling lingered. To ensure she wasn't imagining things, Angelina uploaded a second version of the video, where she amplified the sound, removing all background noise. The result is chilling. It definitely sounds like someone singing, but the source remains a mystery. The Crescent Hotel's reputation as a haunted hotspot is well earned, with a history as rich as it is eerie. Built in 1886, the hotel has served many purposes over the years, from a luxury resort for the wealthy, to a college for young women, and even a dubious hospital run by Norman G. Baker a man with no medical training who claimed to cure cancer. 
Baker's Hospital left behind a legacy of pain and suffering, with many believing the spirits of those who died there still linger within the hotel's walls. One of the most famous ghost stories associated with the Crescent Hotel involves Room 218, where an Irish stonemason named Michael supposedly fell to his death during construction. Guests who stay in this room often report seeing hands coming out of the bathroom mirror, hearing the cries of a falling man, and experiencing doors that open and slam shut all on their own. Michael's spirit is one of many said to haunt the hotel, with apparitions regularly spotted in the crystal dining room and around the rest of the property. Guests have also captured strange photos during their stays at the Crescent Hotel. One such image shows what appears to be a transparent face on a wall. While another photo reveals a woman in a nightgown standing at the end of a hallway. The guest who took this photo insists there was no one around at the time the photo was taken. The hotel's ghost tours are a popular attraction with visitors eager to experience the paranormal for themselves. The guides, who have countless stories of their own, recount eerie encounters with guests who have witnessed unexplained phenomena, such as beds being mysteriously tucked in and Victorian era apparitions leading them to their rooms. So could this old hotel really be haunted? With so many accounts of ghostly sightings, mysterious sounds and eerie photos, it's hard to dismiss the possibility. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, the Crescent Hotel offers an experience that's as fascinating as it is spine chilling, leaving visitors with stories they'll never forget. <laughs> this next clip is super unnerving to say the least. It was uploaded to TikTok by user Nicholas Lauteru, who captured it from his car. Take a look. We can see what appears to be a woman pacing back and forth. Yet as she does so, she seems to move with an unnatural gliding motion. Her bizarre behaviour continues for a whole 2 minutes and 42 seconds, which by itself is creepy enough. However, as the video continues, her pacing appears to get faster. As you can see by the pedestrian who walks past and the intermittent vehicles in the area, the footage hasn't been sped up at all. Yet the figure in the window keeps pacing at what seems like a supernatural speed. There's no telling how long she actually kept the movement up for either as the video ends with her still pacing back and forth. What do you think's going on in this strange video? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Damn. Ex-user Cenibus, a late-night cabin cleaner for an airline in the United States, recently shared a chilling experience that's left viewers on edge. Working late nights cleaning airplane cabins, he's used to quiet, empty planes. However, on this particular night, he decided to stay behind after his crew had left for the night, sitting all alone in the eerie silence of an empty plane. What he captured on camera has since gone viral. As he films, the atmosphere feels unsettling. But then things take a truly creepy turn. Watch closely. Right, uh, sitting on the back of the plane. And y'all probably think I'm fucking insane. Probably think I'm doing this shit for fame.
Watching that again, a seatbelt in the row in front of him suddenly moves on its own, with no one else around. Probably think I'm doing this shit for fame. Some viewers are convinced it could be the spirit of a former passenger who died on this very plane, while others are left scratching their heads over the unexplained phenomenon. Is this a sign of something paranormal? Or is there a more simple explanation? The mystery lingers as the footage continues to spook viewers across the internet. Y'all probably think I'm fucking insane. Probably think I'm doing this shit for fame. An undisclosed hotel in the United States has recently become the center of some eerie events, leading staff members to believe that the building might be haunted. Over the past few months, employees have reported a series of bizarre occurrences that have left them unnerved and questioning what might be lurking in the hotel's halls. The strange activity came to a head on April 13, 2024, when a staff member received a phone call from one of the guest rooms. All right, so we're getting crazy calls from this room that is unoccupied in the second floor. And this is like the third time it's happened. When they go to investigate, they find the room completely empty. Phone. No one's calling, no one's here. Everything's chilling. The eerie thing is, this happened over and over again, despite no one occupying the room. No one here, no phone calls. I'm out. This is weird. In another instance, two staff members captured some unsettling footage while cleaning the hotel. While doing their duties, they decided to film a little game on their phone. The cleaners wanted to see if they could race the elevator to the bottom floor by running down the stairs. They placed their smartphone facing the elevator and began running. But that's when their phone captured something rather eerie. Take a look. The elevator door keeps opening and closing repeatedly, all on its own. Also, what sounds like a mysterious voice can be faintly heard in the background. Perhaps the most chilling incident occurred when staff members were preparing a guest room. Take a look at what they caught on camera. It can be hard to see at first, but if we slow it down and brighten the image, a dark figure is standing at the back of the room. You can see it in the reflection of the mirror. However, when they turn the camera back to where the figure had been, there's nothing there. Chat, should the mirror go? Here? In this corner? The right corner. Okay. Or in that corner? I don't know. I mean, like, I know it's super dark right now, but I feel like personally it would look better in this area. There's just too much backlight. There's like not enough good. I don't know. These occurrences, ranging from unexplained phone calls to ghostly apparitions, have become a near daily occurrence at the hotel. The staff, while not certain of what exactly is causing these strange events, are convinced that something otherworldly may be the cause. As these strange phenomena continue to unfold, the hotel's reputation as a potential haunted hotspot is growing, leaving both employees and guests on edge.
This has got to be the most silent thunder and lightning show I have ever seen. TikTok user Critter3791 recently went viral after posting an eerie video of a storm that swept over their home. At around the 412 mark, you can hear strange ominous noises echoing from the sky. They seem to resemble the sound of a distant horn. The bizarre noises continue for some time. Dozens of commenters speculated that the mysterious sound could be a shofar. The shofar is an ancient musical instrument made from a ram's horn and is traditionally blown in Jewish religious ceremonies. It has a significant role during Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, and Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, symbolizing spiritual awakening, repentance, and the call to gather. In biblical times, the shofar was also used to announce important events, such as the start of a battle or a moment of divine intervention. However, many other viewers had a more apocalyptic interpretation. They suggested the sound might be linked to the seven trumpets mentioned in the book of Revelation, which play a crucial role in the end of days prophecy. According to Christian eschatology, the seven trumpets will be sounded by seven angels, signalling a series of catastrophic events that bring about the apocalypse. Each trumpet ushers in a new disaster, from hailstorms and fire, to the darkening of the sun, to the release of terrifying creatures from the abyss. The final trumpet signifies the coming of God's kingdom and the end of the world as we know it. Given the current state of global conflict and the rise of natural disasters, many believe we could be witnessing the beginning of the end of times. The unusual horn-like sounds heard in the video have left viewers questioning whether these events are more than just random storms. Well, hey, well, that's it. The scariest video clips of 2024. As I mentioned, this is just part one. There is a part two coming very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that one. But in the meantime, let us know in the comments section, what was the scariest clip of the year? We'd love to hear. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>